My name is um, my name is Martina Brown, and um, I'm just here as a parent. I'm a former educator myself, but I'm I'm just here as a parent today. The reason that I decided to come here is because the media has put a sensational spin on all of us that are opposed to masks, as if everyone that's opposed to masks are either white, Republican, or entitled. And I'm here to tell you right now that I'm none of the three. I'm none of the three. I'm just here to support my children. My grandmother, during segregation times, walked my father into a newly integrated school by the hand as she was being yelled at and berated and threatened so that she could have, so that he could have an education. And if it was not for her courage and other people like her, I would not be sitting in front of you today. And I would have not been able to be educated and, and earn my degree as well. And now we're, we're asking ourselves, what, what side of history do you want to be on? Because what a slap in the face to her that now her grandson has, her great-grandson has to put on has a, a mask that covers his nose and his mouth that is stripping them of their morality, their dignity, and their individuality. As an educator myself, I know that to enunciate the vowels and the different consonant blends and different things that it te that, that goes into being an educator to teach our children to speak. They have to be able to see lip movements. When I was teaching my students, I had to show them different lip movements, different tongue movements in order to, to be able to assist them, in order so that they can be able to read. Where are the long-term studies, and already this is a rhetorical question, I know there's none, on the psychological, the emotional, and even the intellectual development of, the, of our children, that they, those can be stunted by putting muzzles, or if you want to call them masks, over their face. A mask actually covers the entire face, which you all are wearing a muzzles, okay? It's psychologically, psychologically, I mean, they actually use it on slaves to break their morality, to break their morality. Th this is insane. This is absolute lunacy. And as a parent, I will not stand for it. I, we need to ask ourselves, are we robbing Peter to pay Paul? Are we robbing Peter to pay Paul? Let me, let me elaborate on that. In Florida, they had parents that took masks that their children had been wor that worn all day. And they sent these, la these masks off to a laboratory to be tested. It came back that those masks were carrying all type of bacteria, fungi, viruses, of course, and other pathogens that can lead to meningitis, what could also lead to what? Their deaths. Someone earlier said today, well, you, you know, you won't, it won't matter to you until it's personal, until someone personally uh, dies in your family. Well, my brother, who's a police officer, two weeks after the man's mask mandate went in effect, he had um, double lung pneumonia. And of course, the, they wanted to, the first thing they do is just shove a COVID uh, thing up your nose. It's COVID. Well, it wasn't COVID. It was pneumonia. This, this, this man who puts his life on the line to protect us all, he had pneumonia is what he had. I, I, I still have a few more things to say. He, he had pneumonia is what he had, not COVID, okay? And why do you think that happened conveniently a couple weeks after the mask mandate was enforced or was, was passed? Because he was breathing in his own saliva and spit and germs for several hours during the day as if his job is not hard enough. And to my Democrats that are sitting here, you have turned on the people that put you there. You have turned on the people that put you there. And, and I'm not going to have it, and I'm not going to continue to vote Democrat, and I guarantee you I am here on the behalf of other people just like me, but they could not be here today because they are working. And everybody that's sitting in this room, you've sat here and listened to these people talk amongst themselves in the echo chamber before they even allowed us to speak. At some point, you're going to have to stand up to what side of history do you want to be on this? Okay, I'm Martina Brown, and I'm just here as a parent fighting for the, the freedom and the rights of my children. I was also um, guided out. The guy was an inch away from physically uh, taking me out of the building, and I told him he didn't need to put his hands on me, that I would gladly go ahead and, um, and walk out before I was physically home, because um, I can't come into any physical home. I don't know if I'm expecting. And so for them to take and put their hands on a woman of, of her size, the way that they did, I was in fear of her physical safety. And so I stood up and I said, you all, if everyone takes their mask off, then they can't do that to just her. Because if, otherwise, if, we, if we're divided amongst ourselves, 
then it's not going to work. This makes me think of Plessy versus, versus Ferguson, where they established separate but equal, where we had to sit in a room separate, segregated from our peers, and it made to feel alienated, as if we were sick, as if we, as if our own breath could kill someone. I think it's inhumane, and I think it's absolute lunacy what's going on right now. And how, how did you, the, how did the masks um, in the schools, what, what did you, what was your testimony on, um, on that? It was, it, it reminds me of segregation. As I said earlier, my grandmother had my, my father by the hand as she walked in to integrate the schools as she was being shouted at. And it's because of her courage that my son is able to attend and that I was able to be educated. However, now they're being humiliated, they're being ostracized, they're being asked to even leave um, if they're not going to um, cover their breathing orifices on their face and risk possible physical, psychological, social, emotional, and even intellectual regression. If they're not allowed to do that, they're not entitled to an education. It sounds very familiar. And I'm here to say that it's going to be over my dead body that that happens in the United States because my ancestors fought too hard for freedom and we are not going backwards.